Hello, Anson Griffin here on the 23rd of January 2021. Earlier on today, I did a quite complicated affine 2D registration problem, and I decided it was a little complicated, so I'd go back and do a simpler affine 2D introduction for my students. So just to give the IP credit here, that I've taken on this example from just there, and that will get you to that MatWork site. But we'll just run through it. So let me just expand that a little bit. So we're looking here, I did a screen grab. So there's the transformation matrix for a translation. You put the translation in there. For the scale, you just put the scale X and scale Y in the transformation there. For the shear, it goes there. And for a rotation, it's cos, sine, minus, sine, cos. So cos, sine, minus, sine, cos. Okay. So today we're just going to be looking at rotations. But if we can do a rotation, we can do any of them. So I'm going to create uh, a transformation for uh, an, for um, rotation. So affine 2D, that's the command. Uh, it's 30, and just to note here, it's cos D, so it's a cos in degrees. If you just say cos, MATLAB assumes you're working in radians. So cos sine minus sine cos, and remember it's sine cos D sine D, okay? So we're going to do the forward transformation of 10, 0. And when we do, what would that point be using that T form that, that we just created above? It would be 8.6603 and 5. And we're just going to look at that as a little plot. So there we are. So we're plotting 10, 0 in blue. And we're the transform point x, y in red. The axis is not 12 on the x and y axis, and it's square, so, you know, they're the same dimensions. Well, not the same. Let's see in a sec. Just, it's important to make the axis square because sometimes MATLAB wouldn't make the distance from 0 to 2 there the same distance as not to do. So just to keep that. So there's the original point in blue, and there's the point spun uh, using a 30 degrees. So the next uh, little one that we're going to look at is uh, the checkerboard. You see there, we're going to take the checkerboard, rotate it by 30 degrees, and then we just show it as a montage. So there's the checkerboard 40, and there it is spun on the right hand side. Now we want to work out um, the T form. So we pick known points on the left and the original one. So we're picking 41, 41, and 281, 161 and the corresponding points in the rotated image. Now, there is a command called CP select, control point selection, but I can't really do that here today, and it would take very long. So I'm just using their commands, MATLAB commands. So you pick known points, and you pick the corresponding moving points, or the points that have moved in the rotated image. Uh, I'll look at that now in a second, but when we're working out the, the transformation matrix, you have to say what transformation type you used, and this is a subset of this, and this is a subset of that, etc. So this non-reflective similarity is a subset of similarity, and similarity is a subset of affine. So the moving points, the fixed points, and what we thought happened, which is a non-reflective similarity. And there is the T form. And then we actually see the contents of the T form. We see T form.t, T form.transformation. 
and there they are and it thinks there has been a, a translation as well okay and just remind ourselves just go back up the top there remember it's cause sine minus sine cause so just go back to where we were Cos, sine, minus sine, go away, minus sine, cos, okay? Now we're going to put the rotated one back to the original one. So I am warp, that's the command to carry out the warping. The J is the rotated one. Using the transformation that's that lad up above, the output view is the same reference size so we're going to make it the same size as the original image and then we're going to show the pair of images okay just there now we're going to work out the transformation and scale and even though i said i go a little slower the maths here is still a little tricky so but i just have to assume that you know the maths so we have a unit vector naught one in the x direction there's zero zero we worked out the transform forward points of u and v we get the delta x we get the delta y and then we get the angle using tan inverse so a tan two is for tan inverse so it tells us here our matlab thinks that the original one was uh 29.7686 remember it was 30 degrees remember we put no scale in so we'd expect one and the scale then is one over the square root of that using mr pythagoras and the scale then is 1.003 when it should be one but fairly close and one more example we're going to look at the dog and you see we've got nice checkerboard points here in the background to assist us and this time we're going to keep a random 2d affine transformation somewhere between 35 and 55 degrees that's the uh, ro rotated using the t form and there's the transformation that we used. Okay. And there's the dog spun round. Um, and this is another example, a random affine 2D between minus 10 and plus 10. And there we have the dog spun around again. Okay, so that's that. Thanks very much for listening. And I hope that made some things a little clearer.